It was a disastrous weekend for the Cuomos. The Q-Tip brothers can't stop embarrassing themselves. Andrews clinging to power and facing growing calls to resign after two more accusers came forward. Almost 50 state lawmakers, including top Democrats, now want him to step aside. And New York State Republicans just announced an impeachment resolution. But the governor says he's not going anywhere. I was elected by the people of the state. I wasn't elected by politicians. Uh, I'm not going to resign because of allegations. Uh, the premise of resigning because of allegations uh, is actually anti-democratic. No, there is no way I resign. Now, you'd think with all the controversies swirling around Andrew Cuomo, his brother Chris would do everything to stay out of trouble. Instead, he did this. Just looking out of the window, watching the, the asphalt grow, <laughs> thinking how it all looks handy. How do you know the words to good times? You know I'm black on the inside. So good times, good times. anytime you need a favorite. <laughs> all right, I'm not going to knock him for that. It's just a joke. It's just ironic that the fake racial outrage machine that CNN created is now boomeranging on that comment. All right, Juan, what do you think about the Cuomo brothers and their weekend? <laughs> well, I'm glad you agree with me. You know, across racial lines, we just think that was a joke. They were just having fun. I think the more serious yeah. issue is the governor's future here, Jesse. And I think he's in trouble. I think he's trying to buy time. Uh, he's hanging on by his fingernails. If this was a boxing match, he'd be holding the other boxer and trying just to slow things down. You know, the, a the attorney general's investigation, and she's named some people today to that panel, that investigation is going to buy him some time. But, you know, my sense is we're watching the final act here. I, I don't see, well, you know, I don't know how it ends. I don't know when it ends, but I think hmm. it's going to end. Wow. And, and uh, my sense is that, you know, if more women keep coming forward, uh, I don't know how he hangs on there. Now, let me just say, as a caveat to, to, you know, my thinking on this, that, you know, it could be that he just doesn't run for another term, that he announces shortly that, you know what, I'm not running for a fourth yeah. term. And that that satisfies, that. That, that acts as a pressure release valve. And a lot of people say, well, you know what, let's just move on. I don't know, but I do know I saw a Quinnipiac poll over the weekend, you know, done after both the nursing home scandal and the harassment scandal had broken. And still, most New Yorkers don't want him to resign. It's overwhelmingly partisan, but overwhelmingly, but it's clear most of, they don't want him to resign, but they also don't want him to run right. again next year. Greg, I could see him just locking himself down and 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 not resigning at all and just trying to weather the storm, couldn't you? Well, I'm, I don't know. Call me old-fashioned, but I still believe the rest home massacre is worse than the harassment stuff. So I don't... Of course. You know, uh, and, and I'm wondering, with all of these... These women are going to keep coming forward, and as the number of accusers grow, will his staff suddenly decide to play that number down, too? It's like, oh, no, those were different because they happened in a hospital. <laughs> Maybe they'll do that. As for uh, CC and the Muscle Factory, I'm going to be like you guys. I'm going to cut Chris slack on this, even though I know that their side would never do the never. same for us. And I do think yep. that, like, when you think about, like, what is what is really being said out there that's horrible? How is Joy Reid not getting <laughs> not getting any attention for the horrible things she's saying? Saying Republicans would pay higher taxes so they could say the N word, which she says that. You have to understand, she's talking about white people. So she's racist. She's smearing an entire group of people. But because it's on MSNBC, she can say it. So we're folk, you know, like, yeah, Cuomo, Cuomo is, without Chris Cuomo, without question, he's the Michael Scott of cable news, right? You know, he looks at the fun, he, he thinks he's funnier and more charming than he is. And so he makes these silly mistakes and we all laugh because it's human. But meanwhile, there's somebody spewing vile hate on MSNBC every day. But immunity. Yeah, and Comcast seems to be okay with that. Yeah. All right, Dagan McDowell, um, your prediction, does, does he just, so stubborn, Andrew Cuomo, dig in 
and, and not go anywhere and even try to run again. He won't try to run again, but he is such a megalomaniac that he will believe that he's impervious. Yeah, but he is Buffalo Bill without the dance moves. He had a hand in killing 15,000 elderly New Yorkers and then lied about it and covered it up. I think his downfall will be if and when federal prosecutors in the Justice Department start talking to those aides who covered up the, um, the nursing home deaths yeah. that happened in hospitals, once they start interviewing them because you lie yeah. to the federal government, that's a crime. I think that that might be the tipping point for him. But Cuomo, the Cuomo bros get, ri get, get away with everything because they were born and raised in power and privilege. They get away with it because of their daddy and because their politics are on the right side, meaning the left side. Uh, Chris Cuomo, don't forget, last year, nothing happened to him, wasn't canceled when he said, please show me where it says that protests are supposed to be polite and peaceful, and then people died and were injured, and people lost their livelihoods all summer long. That is the untouchable nature. It's why he interviewed his governor <laughs> brother uh, and, ne and yeah. basically never asked about the nursing home deaths for months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, doesn't it say that they have to be peaceful in the Constitution? All right, Dana Perino, remember Governor Ralph Northam? Oh. I think the entire world told right. him he had to resign, and he didn't. Look, it's my talking point. It's perfect. We didn't <laughs> oh, even coordinate. No, like he, so he just grinded. He just decided I'm going to grind it out. I was like, he'll just put his head down. He just worked, and everyone thought he would have to resign. But remember, it wasn't sexual harassment. Okay, like apparently that's different. Um, and you keep hearing people yeah. saying, if one more woman comes out, then he'll have to resign. Well, now there's multiple, and that's still not happening. I do ask this, Jesse. Um, where is the vice president on this? Mm. And I, I wonder at Good some point, point. Th like, does she want to say something, but is being asked not to, or is she not saying something that would be, to me, it's seemingly against her principles? Um, and at some point, does she decide to say, look, this? She, she was going to want to say something. She's going to do an interview. She's going to be asked. Um, and the other thing is, like with her, uh, I think at some point, both Biden and Kamala Harris might come to a decision that. Someone needs to call Andrew Cuomo and say, this is a distraction that we don't need. And at the very least, as Wands and other people have said, he'll just announce that he's not going to run for another term. All right. All good points, except Gutfeld's. Ah. Coming up.